hottest day of the year today. Nearly 50 degrees in the greenhouse. Because we heat all the trains from Houston got cancelled, so um, some had been stranded in a lot of hours. So late dinner at half nine actually. Welcome back after hours and hours of delay. Oh, I'm cancelling. Yeah. Mm. This is a Japanese wine berry. Hello. <laughs> oh, you've got tea for me. Thank you. arrived at Plymouth. We're gonna take a bus to our hotel. There it is, six pounds. Oh, there you go. Mm. Okay. How many? Just one? Uh, two. Well, one each. So, two. Are you paying for one and two for one? No, well, I'll do both. Are you doing for both? Yeah. Mm. Well, I'll put two then. Uh, <laughs> you know what? So, you place your card on the receptacle, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> On the toilet. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Enjoy yourself all weekend now. Thank you. Even yeah, though it won't be on Sunday, all right? Oh, okay. okay. No, we, no, because it's for some reason that it will only say that, but you can use it. Oh, right. Right. Ah. Oh, okay. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Just arrived. That's Jury's in, in Plymouth. Looks quite spacious. Ah, oh, the comes with the bathtub that's really good Ooh. I think this is a nice room mm. I think it was called like a fat year, <laughs> but it's, it's like a Turkish pied, but... Mm. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Oh, apparently, uh, oh no, that's an onion. I thought it was a piece of bacon for a minute. <laughs> yeah, so we went for the vegetarian option because they didn't have any lamb or beef. Mm. But, yeah. It looks nice. It looks nice, yeah. And we, we brought our Japanese wineberry from home, so 
that will be your pudding. And it's currently, it's nearly 11 actually, like 20, it's late. Quarter, to 11. quarter to 11, yeah. But um, this was one of the on the restaurants which was open. I would say all takeaway places. Yeah. So, but yeah. What are you looking at? <laughs> it's weird seeing my back and Sam there. Ah, <laughs> all like that. Oh, it's Hello. really weird. Hello. Hey, let's see. Huge, yeah. Some said it's like a tennis racket. Mm. <laughs> and, then rip it. Mm. and oh, it's actually quite good. I think the name of the restaurant, takeaway restaurant, was like Aroma yeah. Fire Grilled. Um, I think wood oven. I think firewood pizza. Or yeah. So I think it was like a really good restaurant. Hmm. It's good that I brought one of these, or two of these actually. We didn't know that we would have a bathtub, but yeah, we did, so that's good. I think we're gonna take a bus, not bus, bath, <laughs> and then um, just get some sleep. Good night. Good morning. Great view of other people's view. It's now a clothes shop, I believe. Oh no, it's still free coffee as well. But... Some cool buildings. Probably that was a warehouse. Winching gear. Oh yeah. <laughs> Some of the original is there underneath. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And what was the um, local one? Oh, maybe they've run out, basically. The local one's that, but maybe they've run out. Right. They've only got two of it. What is it called? Like hog sausage. Hog, hog sorry? Like hog's pudding. Hog's pudding. But there's only two bits, so maybe they run out. Okay. And mine is the egg florentine, I think. Oh yeah! 
Perfect. I think it's sour bread. Buildings in Plymouth, the old merchant house. Quite a few charges here. It's about this charge, and then there's the other one on this side as well. This one. So it says Plymouth Public Dispensary. So a dispensary is like an old pharmacy. And this is from 1798. Now it's a British Red Cross building.
Oh, there's no glass in there, isn't there? Hmm. This is like a medieval house. Yeah. It's got really old guttering as well. Like great. statue to the first female MP for Astor. The guild hall, where all the guild members would meet. Like the trade association in the medieval period that regulated standards and um, quality control and also restricted entry into the membership. But then it became like essentially like the people who administrated the town. by King George the Sixth to mark the restoration of the city after its destruction in the Second World War. House of Fraser, a historic building. Yeah, maybe 1930s, I guess. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
person looks like a kind of a Spanish soldier from the Armada. So obviously it's showing the two times that the town was attacked. So when you had the Armada and then when you had the Second World War. used to be part of a monastery by Dominican monks who were referred to as the Blackfriars and um, after that it became like a meeting hall and after that it was taken over by a cooper who is someone who makes barrels um, for alcohol um, and they were only allowed to make the uh, gin inside the city limits so only in this building, I think this building was on the edge of the city Yeah. <laughs> 
This is all we tried earlier. So in this area which is Sutton Harbour, that building over there with the crates is the fish market and you've got your fishing trawlers uh, just over there. So they would go out to sea and trawl up for either depending on what gear they've got, like oysters or for, like, uh, cod or mackerel. Different, different fish in different areas. This is the marina bit where you've got your kind of, you know, like relaxing kind of yachts. This tablet uh, was placed here to mark the anniversary, 350th anniversary of the shipwreck of the Sea Venture ship that left here in 1609 to sail to uh, establish um, ultimately Virginia in America, Jamestown in Virginia, but it got shipwrecked in Bermuda and then they had to rebuild new boats new ships in Bermuda and then sailed to what is now Virginia and established a colony. And it says uh, that it was the oldest colony in Bermuda. So this is a, a tower overlooking the, the harbour and obviously it's like it's defending the entrance to the harbour because maybe like a medieval round town. And a yacht is coming into the harbour. It's all word
So, when the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh visited here, they embarked onto the Guy of Plymouth on the 26th of July 1962 at this spot, which is marked by a tower which says, like, Her Royal Highness and has a crown on it. We actually don't need to be on this side. <laughs> So you can't actually go in without booking in advance. And there's another tower guarding the harbour. And here's some of the yachts coming in. Today's local fish. We've got crab, we've got cuttlefish, we've got gurnard, that's apparently quite tasty. Lots of fish. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Mackerel, Hick, Dover Soil, <laughs> Norfolk Zero, South Foot Zero. There was a fake shipping forecast. Monkfish, also known as the anglerfish, is the one that blows on a bit more face and teeth. It's sometimes called sea devil. That's supposed to be Mayflower um, step, but uh, it's all boxed in. There's the guy about to jump in the sea. Oh my goodness, yeah. Hopefully he won't. Uh, he might. Oh. 
Oh, you have a go. Well, we, I yeah. Just further up, but I don't know where they've gone. And they're just around the corner. I might need it far to go to the home. Um, I, yeah, it's, uh, it's around the other 10, side. 50, at least 50 this is from here thousands of people left Cornwall to go to Australia and they helped develop the mining and farming of South Australia. So St. James is supposed to have gone to Spain uh, and be buried in Santiago, according to legend, and that's what the De Compostela pilgrimage way is. And from Plymouth, English pilgrims would sail to Spain and they would wear a scallop, indicating that they were on pilgrimage, so a scallop shell. And here's the scallop shell. And here's a man who's wearing a scallop shirt. You! Oh. <laughs> yeah, look. Mm. How appropriate. Those containers contain gas. It might be liquefied natural gas, but I don't know. So if it is, it's come on container ships. Pipes on the ground. You can see what it is. the Plymouth Division of the Royal Marines to mark the lives who were lost during the First and Second World War, well originally the Great War and the First World War.
sighting of him with a Spanish Armada. So this was erected in honour of uh, Her Majesty Queen Victoria in 1888. It's got some old-style mortars. And there's Sir Francis Drake. south of Cape Horn and discovered the Drake Passage and he sailed his Golden Hyde ship landing in California. marks a thousand years since the last Viking raid up the river and it's got Sweden, Norway, Iceland, Denmark written around the base and some runes on the back with a horse rider and around the front Viking boat in the 1997 and a cross. I got grilled mackerel. Real cake for Sam. Comes with chips and tartar sauce.
We're having breakfast. If you like photographs, we've got a very, very beautiful garden. Oh, wow. You're welcome to just have a look. Really nice deco here. Yeah, for the party or something. Yeah. Oh, wherever. Pretty for me. And English breakfast for Sam. Ah, that looks amazing. Oh. fresh from the oven, it's, mm. it's still hot. So I think in this area, jumpers. Amazing cream tea and full English breakfast. Hi, they recommend here. Yeah. Ooh. That 
It's a fishing boat. It's a short and fat one. <laughs> got like the winch wheel on the back and the fisherman's just gone inside. But we're back here again. Turkey and gum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yay. <laughs> Yay, that's the game. Goodbye Plymouth, we're taking our train back home. That's a weekend. Oh, they sweet corns. Got some raspberries. Oh, lovely. Tomato and edamame got bigger. And, oh, all bitching. There's a. Uh, Ah, this one. He's growing bigger. Oh, he has reached uh, actually uh, hmm? soil. It's not really in focus. Oh, there it is. That's good. And okra leaves keep being munched by someone. It's almost. Oh my goodness. Food finally, moussaka.